Hello, my friends. It's me, Professor Hans von Puppet. It's been a little while. It's nice to see you. And here is the news. Whistleblower protection in the UN has been officially confirmed to be a joke. The recent decision from the UNDT in the second Nigen Krupp and Postika case found that the tribunal has no power to do anything about the retaliation that they found in the first case. The facts are interesting. First, the ethics office found there was retaliation. They could not ask OIOS to investigate because it was Michael Dudley, the acting director of OIOS, who was responsible for the retaliation. So, to get around that problem, the Secretary General formed an external panel. How the panel members were selected is shrouded in mystery, and the question of the burden of proof was fudged, so it's not clear if the panel even knew what to do. But never mind. The panel members got paid U.S. $250,000, and the result was that they found no retaliation. Then the UNDT came out with a judgment which said there was retaliation. The judgment was overturned on appeal, but appeals don't change facts. Now the UNDT has ruled they cannot hear a challenge against the findings of the panel. So now we have a situation where the ethics office said, yes, it looks like retaliation. Then a panel said there was no retaliation. Then the UNDT said, well, of course there was retaliation, but the UNDT has no power to review anything, not even to ask if the panel was biased or if they acted responsibly or understood their duties. The most incredible aspect is that this case, however, was when Dudley tried to stop the retaliation from being investigated. He offered no alternative explanation for what looked like retaliation, but instead actually admitted that there was so much evidence against him that he could not defend himself against it. This means that even though the retaliator admits that he's guilty, the organization can protect him by appointing their friends to be a panel, telling them in advance what result they want. And there is absolutely nothing the victim can do, no matter how obvious the injustice. So, what if you are a UN staff member thinking about reporting misconduct? Hmm? If your report upsets the Dowager Empress Malcora or draws attention to something the Secretary General does not want to hear, like sexual abuse of little children, for example, you could find yourself under investigation by OIOS. The Ethics Office will never recognize this as retaliation, and you are stitched up like a kipper! This is what's happening to Herr Compass. This was done to Fräulein Nigien Krupp and Herr Postika, and then the same OIOS staff did it again to Herr Schulenberg. And the UN justice system just lets these serial retaliators get off scot-free. And what does the Secretary General do about it? Nothing. He must like it this way. And who is demanding change in the rules? Nobody.